Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Today I want to show you how you can control the decoder presets of this, the New Tech Connect Spark Plus I.O. with the Elgato Stream Deck. The Spark Plus I.O. allows you to both encode video signals into NDI and also decode NDI sources into either HDMI or SDI depending on the unit. So you can connect it to say monitors, projectors, etc. So the Spark when it's set into decode mode has 10 presets that you can set up to quickly change sources and with the help of the Elgato Stream Deck makes that process even easier. So let me show you how it's done son! All right, all right, all right. So here we are on my desktop, which is running my Stream Deck software. I also have NDI Studio Monitor open up here in the top right, pointed at a TV that is currently connected to my Spark Plus I.O. module, so that when I do my switches in decode mode, you'll see the, uh, the video changes happen uh, right then and there. Okay, and then I also have NDI Studio Monitor open because uh, I want to show you how to get into this Connect, Sp Connect Spark Plus I.O. module uh, to configure it. Okay, so the first thing we'll need to do on the NDI Studio Monitor is let's find the Spark Plus I.O. by going to the menu in the top left and then searching for all the different pieces of hardware that are broadcasting on my network or software. And there it is, Spark I.O. And I currently have it set to decoding channel. And when I do that, uh, it's basically going to say that this device is in output mode, so we need to click on the gear icon to open the device web page, which is right here. Boom. All right, so let's go ahead and click that. And when I do that, it'll open up a new browser window with the IP address at the top, and then it'll ask you to log in. And by default, the password is admin admin, uh, unless you've changed it to something else, but that's the default. Let's go ahead and log into it. Don't need that. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm currently set to my decoder mode right now, and I currently have blank, uh, the 10th um, option here on the list uh, to send this up. Now, I've already set some of this up because this will take a little bit of time, but you'll see that I have a couple of different presets open uh, for the uh, decoding presets. So if I click on those, check this out. Click on number one. And when I do that, the video shows up over here on my, on my uh, camera that I have pointed at that monitor. So the resolution doesn't look really good, but I just kind of basically threw it up. But whatever, you get the idea. Uh, and if I plug, if I punch in number two, same thing. There we go. So there's my video showing up over there. And I have a couple of different options going from uh, different uh, decoder presets that I currently have plugged into the system. But, okay, we get the idea. So now what we need to do is let's go into the Stream Deck software and configure the Stream Deck to control these presets. So that way I don't have to open up a web browser and click all this all the time. I can do it simply by putting it into this. So on the Stream Deck software, we'll go under the New Tech dropdown and select Spark Decode Preset and just drag that into any of these buttons. So I'll put it in the bottom right and when I do that you'll see I have a nice little handy dandy picture of a Connect Spark Plus I.O. module which you can see on the hardware itself there too. It's cute. Okay, uh, and now we need to start to configure this preset. Alright, let me move this up a little bit so we can see this. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to need is a title for uh, what we want to display on the Stream Deck, because if not, it's just going to be this icon, which you'll have to memorize it, but let's make it easy for ourselves. Uh, so uh, typically what I do is I will put the shot that I want in there. I'm just going to put one because that is going to be my preset number one. Okay, now the next thing we're going to need is the IP address of the Spark itself. And you can find that by going to the admin panel of your Spark. And at the top right, you'll see there is... An IP address. Let's go ahead and copy that and we'll stick it in there. All right, now when I did that, uh, keep in mind you only need the IP address. You don't need the HTTP or anything like that. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. And then the next option is going to ask which preset do you want this button to control? So you have between one and nine and then blank on being the last one, the 10th entry. So since I have one up here, let's leave it as one. 
And then the next thing you'll need is the username and password of this Connect Spark Plus IO itself, which again, I just showed was admin admin. Uh, and now once I have that configured, I'm pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and take a look. So right now I currently have number two punched up on my administrator mode. So let me go ahead and press this button on my stream deck and check this out. Ta-da, there we go. And now I've configured that to basically handle all this operation so I don't have to come inside on the browser and start clicking things from in here. So let's go ahead and do that again. Let me grab another Spark Code decode and let's put it over here. And move it up so we can see two. Put in the IP address. Again, get rid of all of the other information other than just the number itself. And then let's put that into two admin all right cool now that is set up so now all i have to do is simply press the button on the stream deck and now that monitor is displaying input number two go back to one you get the idea and when i do that you'll see on the administrator side those change back and forth as well so this makes it a lot easier uh, to control the decoding preset of the Connect Spark Plus I.O. module instead of having to go through on the browser end to do it. You can use the Stream Deck to make it super duper simple. So I highly recommend playing around with this and of course, have some fun. There you have it, yet another way that the Elgato Stream Deck can help simplify your productions. Now for more tutorial videos like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. You can also find formalized NewTek product training at NewTek University, which you can sign up for at newtech.com slash newtech-u. And to find out more information about NewTek products and services, contact your local reseller or visit our website, newtech.com. And if you're sharing your work on social media using NewTek equipment, tag us using the hashtags NewTek, TriCaster, or 3Play. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of NewTek Tuesday Tutorials.